Two Fish Talks. Hi, everybody. Welcome to Two Fish Talks. I'm Miss Brooke. Here's my good friend, Ruff. <laughs> We're here today to read with you on our children's daily one-year Bible. Are you ready? Let's go. God whispers to Elijah, 1 Kings 19. When King Ahab returned from Mount Carmel, he told Queen Jezebel all that had happened. Jezebel was furious. She sent a message to Elijah. I will kill you by this time tomorrow night, she said. Elijah was afraid of Jezebel, who was a very wicked woman, so he ran away. Elijah went into the desert. He hurried along all day. Then he sat under a tree called a broom tree and prayed to die. Take my life away, Lord, Elijah prayed. Just let me die right now. Elijah lay down under the broom tree and slept. As he slept, an angel touched him. Get up and eat, the angel said. Elijah got up and found a jar of water and some bread that had been baked on hot stones. After he ate, he lay down again. The angel came back and touched Elijah again. Eat some more, the angel said. You have a long trip ahead of you. Elijah got up and ate. Then he was strong enough to travel 40 days and 40 nights to Mount Sinai. There he lived in a cave. Why are you here, Elijah? the Lord asked. I worked hard for you, Lord, Elijah answered, but all the other people in Israel have broken their promise to live for you. I'm the only faithful follower left, and now they are trying to kill me. Go outside and stand in front of me on the mountain, the Lord said. As Elijah stood there, a terrible windstorm came, but the Lord was not in the wind. Then a great earthquake came, but the Lord was not in the earthquake. Then a great fire roared, but the Lord was not in the fire. At last there was a gentle whisper. It was the Lord. The Lord spoke again. Why are you here, Elijah? He asked. Once again, Elijah said he thought he was the only faithful follower of God left. Go home, the Lord said. Anoint Hazael to be king of Aram. Anoint Jehu to be king of Israel. And anoint Elisha to replace you. Then the Lord surprised Elijah. There are 7,000 people in Israel who still follow me, he said. Not one of them has bowed down to Baal. Thanks so much for joining with us today as we read through our one-year children's Bible. We'll read more tomorrow, okay? <laughs> Bye-bye!